Very pretty. Lots of flowers. Yes, they seem nice enough. I've met a few. But I'm telling you, Jules, Frank and I have been moved in for three weeks now, and not so much as a peep from our neighbor. We haven't seen a car, a person. Gee, come to think of it, we haven't even seen a garbage pickup. Yes. Yes, I know that's what it sounds like, but I just know that someone is over there. The lights change all throughout the night. I've even heard Frank rustling around at 3 a.m. on a weeknight because of the music coming from over there. Well, I know, but we only moved from the other side of the city. It can't be that different. Am I crazy? Well, I'm thinking of going over there. Um, Frank's in Baltimore until Saturday, and... Oh, <laughs> oh uh, no. The other neighbors won't talk much about him, other than he used to be a music composer, I think. They mentioned the name Sid Kotler. I've never heard of him. Well, in any case, I think it's the only neighborly thing to do. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Jules. I can take care of myself. Okay. We're still on for our visit to the market tomorrow, right? All right. You too. Bye.
And how did you get in here? Oh, I... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to startle you. I, I just wanted to see... I don't care what you wanted. You've trespassed my home. Who are you and how did you get in here? Why, I'm your new neighbor. My name is Anne. My husband Frank and I moved in almost a month ago. I knocked on the front door. I asked if anyone was home, but the door was already open, so I heard noises and I just wanted to make sure everyone was all right. Well, as you can see, I'm quite all right. Yes. Well, I baked you a nice lemon meringue and I had hoped to introduce myself. I see. Well, thank you for the gesture, but I don't consume sugar. Oh, I apologize. Are you diabetic? No. Weren't you ever told that sugar can give you nightmares? Oh, why? I think I heard Mr. Lalane say something about that on the television, but I, I really wasn't aware. Well, it's true, all right. Now, please leave and take that with you. My deepest apologies. If I see anyone else in my home without invitation, he or she will have the police to answer to. Yes, sir, I understand. Good evening. Please be so kind as to lock the door on your way out. Will you please get out of here? I don't want you here. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Come on now. Get down from there. There is no other way. You see, I am not one to accept kickbacks. Someone has arranged the books to make it look like I took a $4 million bribe on a government contract. I didn't do it. Well, sir, you don't have to jump. You can find out who did it and clear yourself. Now, there's no coming back from something like this. If I'm convicted, my family won't get anything. At least this way they get my pension. I can see the front page now. State Treasurer Claude Quarry is a crook. Well, well, come on down and we'll talk it out first. It's the only way! No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, stop. Don't jump! It was just a dream. Only a dream. You're sweating. You're not real. How can you? You... I just... You're the man that... I mean, it, it... It can't be you. Well, Sid. It's good to know you recognize your friends. But you're... Claude Query, uh, the politician from my dream. Uh, you can't be here. Uh, I'm awake now. Sid, <laughs> I can't control where I go any more than you can control that you were born here on this earth. But you, you fell from that bridge. You died in my dream. I did? I don't remember that. But if, if you say so. Who are you? As you know, my name is Claude. You brought me here. I don't have a say. And how do I get you to leave? I don't know. 
My concern runs deeper than yours, I'll bet. I'm probably still dreaming. But it's a dream that seems real. <laughs> I'll go back to sleep. And I know you will be gone. I knew it was just my imagination. You've done it again. What? What is this? Who are you, really? I know you. You're Lydia. We just had the most wonderful time together. But that was... That was in my dream. Just now. You can't be real. You just can't. Neither of you. This is crazy. This is just crazy. It's, it's insane. Yes, it is. Or someone is. Now, Lydia. Well, do you two know each other? You could say that. We all know each other, don't we? I mean, you were the one that brought us together. I'm calling the police. That would probably be a bad idea. And why is that? <laughs> you see, Sid, no one can hear or see us except for you. Yes, you'd be in a straitjacket before they even got you to the station. Uh. You couldn't do it anyway. Dare me! Sid, you haven't left this house in 13 years. You have your groceries, supplies, and mail all delivered to your back porch. Why, well, you can't even talk to a pretty girl when she comes to visit you with a delicious pie. Okay. Suppose in some miracle sense that I dreamt you into existence. Well, then you wouldn't be human. 
You wouldn't breathe oxygen as I see you doing now. You'd just be excess energy sustained by my imagination. We're not capable of being anything else, Sid. No more than you are capable of being anything other than what you are. No. Hey, Sid, it's me, Alice, your favorite waitress from your favorite diner. Hey there, Sid. I got some hot coffee for you, and I brought plenty of sugar. I know how much you like that sugar. Oh, it's so sweet. We all love that sweet plenty sugar. Don't sugar. Sid. I know how much you like that Ooh, sugar. Oh, I know how you like that hot coffee with lots and lots of sugar. We gonna keep piling it on, because we love our sugar sweet, don't we, Sid? Yes, we do. We gonna keep piling it on. <laughs> down here while it's still hot. <laughs> Can't think of a better breakfast than this. Well, there he is. You look like you can use some waking up. I got your coffee brewing and your two eggs over hard are on the way. Just like you like them. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> well, if that ain't some gratitude for no, you. No, Alice. Why are you being coy? How am I being coy? Well, Sid, you bring us all together, and then you insist that we leave. You can't just toy with people like that. It's 1960. This is the modern world. Well, aren't you going to answer the door? Who is it? Mr. Cotler, it's me, Anne, your neighbor. Well, are you going to open the door for her? Yeah, she sounds pleasant. Hi, Mr. Kotler. How do you know my name? I never told you. Oh, the other neighbors. They told me when we first moved in. Well, what do you want this morning? I felt urged to apologize again for the odd happenings of yesterday. I was beyond my boundaries walking in like that, and I just... All is forgiven. I... That smells wonderful. Say, would you like to come in and share some coffee? Well, yes, that would be nice. Thank you. Anne, right? Well, it looks like someone is a hungry monster. Yes, it seems. Who's the lady, Sid? Don't mind her. Don't mind whom? Why, her, Lydia. One of the hungry monsters. We told you, Sid, only you. Mr. Cotler, why are you looking like that? He's still trying to catch on, honey. You made three table settings for yourself? You do live alone, Mr. Cotler? Uh, I don't know. That is, yes, yeah, I do. I just had a family over this morning for breakfast. They've all left now. I see. Anne, would you mind if we had that cup of coffee another time? Why, okay. Are you all right, Mr. Cotler? Yeah, yes, I'm fine. I just realized I, I need to uh, clear the table and, and get ready for the day.
Now you talk about setting oh, yourself Sid, up. Oh, Sid, why'd you have to let a girl in here and you can't keep setting that up? Sid, come on. You don't, you we both understand. know you can do better than that. Why'd you have to go and let her leave? She was standing right there. She seemed like a nice lady. I would have given her my chair at the table. Me too. Me too. Oh, quiet. You have no chair. Just as there's no space being taken where we stand now. That's right, Sid. Mm-hmm. Quiet, all of you. He's going to drive himself crazy. He's already in the fast lane. Exactly how long has it been since you talked to a stranger other than the delivery boy through the door? Uh, five weeks? Another seven weeks before that? It's been even longer since he talked to a girl. Obviously. Sid, why is it that none of the clocks in your house are set to the same time? Look, look, look. He's got a bottle in every room in the house. Ha! You're not real. That's why my neighbor couldn't see you. That's why only I can see you. But I don't really see you. If I stop taking these pills, you'll all just go away. Ha! Well, you can give it a shot, Sid. But I don't think it's going to help you. Look, see? You're all just figments of my imagination. I don't think you fully You'll grasp see. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> I'll just take that from you. No, Doc. <laughs> I need that medicine. Here, some camper spirit might do the trick. <laughs> Please. <laughs> don't take it from me. Please don't. <laughs> Please, don't take it from me. <laughs> Please don't. Dr. Harvey. Dr. Harvey! <laughs> Sid, aren't you going to have a drink? <laughs> what is this craziness? I said, what is this? As long as it's real maple syrup, that's all I care about. Oh, no, maybe it's hot. It tastes so good. <laughs> Why'd you go and do that for? That was your own piece. You don't want your friends enjoying your own music for the masses? Why are you doing this to me? Why can't you leave me alone? I didn't ask for you. But you did. No, I didn't. You invaded my dreams. Then you invaded my life. This is my life. Do you think by not taking that medicine, we're going to go away? We didn't ask to be here. We thought you loved us, Sid. Yeah. Why would you invite us in and then try to send us away? It's the strangest behavior I think I've ever heard of. You don't remember. Remember what? What it was like before you all just invited yourselves into my home? Dr. Harvey, you died in 55. How could you even be here? Sid, how long have you been on that medicine? I, well, I, I don't know, nine? Ten years, perhaps. So would you say it's been working for you? Yes. Yes, I would. So why stop now? Because of the side effects. You see? Here on the bottle. Then if this is true, 
you'll have another 12 hours until it's out of your system. How would you know that without knowing the last time that I took it? Well, I've been visiting since last night. I haven't seen you take any for at least 12 hours. So another 12 would make 24. No. No, no, I see what you're doing. See what? <laughs> You want me to go without it just long enough to make me want it all the more. No, 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 no. So you're going to take it and continue to manifest your hallucinations. That is not healthy, Sid. What do you care, huh? Why do you want me to, to quit? It would just make you all go away. Ah, that's why. Now, I, I know your agenda. We just care about you, Sid. Now you care about me. Now you're, you're counting on me to keep you here. You couldn't be more wrong. I'm going to my room. And I'm not taking that drug. Honestly, Frank, there's something really strange about our new neighbor. Well, it's probably best you just let him be. You, you can't force someone to be a friend. I mean, to be honest, I haven't paid much attention to our neighbor since we moved in. Haven't had a chance to. I heard that music. It sounds like an opera singer crying or something. It's quite unsettling. Well, I'll be home tomorrow evening. Maybe I'll cordially say something to him about the after-hour noise. Oh, Anne, I apologize. Can you hold on for a second? Come in! <laughs> All right, thank you, Virginia. Oh, we're finishing up things here over at the office, and I gotta get back over to the site before the Friday rush hour gets any worse. All right, then. Please call me from the airport? Will do. Bye, doll. for me? I can't take this no more. Oh, it's not so bad. Maybe we should join in.
been nearly a full day since I last took that drug. By the time that I wake up in the morning, you will all be gone for good. And peace will find me at last. Deaf and dumb. A, B, C. What is this? Don't touch that. That's a special theremin that I built myself. Don't you still want to play with us? Let's go, children. It's assured we're not welcome here. I know. I know how you're feeling right now, Sid. How did you get down here so swiftly? Yeah, I, I don't even recognize you. My name is Mr. Snatus. Of all those tyrants up there, you're the only one who hasn't appeared in one of my dreams. Wait, 
I haven't had my medication for 24 hours. These hallucinations should not be happening. You shouldn't be here. None of you. Believe me, Sid, I do know how you feel. These people have been tormenting me for years. You're preaching to the choir, my friend. Why me? Why not someone else? You may already know this, but you have what's called anthropophobia. Anthropho what? Anthropophobia. It means that you're deathly afraid to interact or socialize with strangers. Why, well, I would go so far as to say that you have severe anthropophobia, seeing that you can't even handle your own family and friend. Who are you to tell me what I have? What I, I, I feel, what I'm afraid of? You see, Sid, some people believe that one's fears can become reality if one allows it to. So you're saying that my fear of companionship is forcing these incarnations? Not exactly. As I said, these people have been surrounding me for years as well. But you're one of them. How can that be? Your purpose is to dissuade me from my attempts, is it not? No, it is not. My purpose is to persuade you to let yourself go. Accept these friends. Accept me and the others as your friends. And not as antagonists. No. I, I, I just, I, I won't be fooled. Let's see, that medicine is surely out of your system by now and we are all still here. How do you see this now? Just with withdrawal symptoms. My body uh, attempting to adjust to normalcy. Speaking of normalcy, why, why are you all bundled up indoors? Well, it's much warmer where I come from, Sid. You really should go and make amends with the group. Well, I'll go all right. Everyone! Everyone! So where are you from? Syracuse. How about you? Chicago. Thank you for traveling with us today. Thank you. These planes keep getting bigger and bigger, don't they? Soon we'll have a dance floor on these things. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Please come down. Please come down. They're gone. They're gone. Ha! Ha! They're gone. Oh my I thought those twins were adorable. 
government to it. That just doesn't make sense. I don't know what you're doing. Just stand there. 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 Why? 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 Now, Sid, you should be happy. That's right, Sid. There are a lot of people in this world who can only dream of having this many friends. That is what we are, aren't we? You're not my friends. You're tyrants. You're uninvited and not welcome. Have you ever tried writing therapy? Yes, yes I have. Writing has been very therapeutic for me for many years. I, I've written dozens of pieces that satisfy my mind. No, not musical writing, Sid. Writing down your thoughts, your fears, making a list of your problems. Like a journal of sorts. You're my problem. Well, okay then. Write it down. That's a start. How do you spell your name? Oh, that's Mr. S-N-A-T-A-S. How's that feel, Sid? No different. No different at all. Maybe you should take a good look in the mirror and tell yourself that you are a troubled man who should learn to accept those who've come into your life. That's not a bad idea, Sid. Talking to yourself may seem strange to those who don't know, but it can answer many a question. Why do you bring them? How can you do this to yourself? This list, this long list that just keeps growing. This list, this. Room. What's wrong? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Or the devil. You! You! This is all you're doing. You got me. You, you all, you knew all along. You're working for him. Actually, we don't even like the guy. Yeah, he makes us show up at these gatherings all the time. It does get pretty old. You see, Sid, these people have been tormenting me for many years. So this is how I keep them busy. Better you than me. No offense intended. You. You're the cause of all of this. Not really. I'm just the aftermath. I nor them can be here without you. I don't understand. Let's see. The medicine is no longer affecting your system. As you believe, that is the root of your hallucinations. Or us. So why are we still here? 
it's like I said before, it's, it's just residual side effects. Sid, you've been taking a drug called lysergic acid dithlamide lithium. This contemporary experimental concoction was prescribed to you to treat your anthropophobia caused by your psychosis. You see, the psychosis you have is a condition of the mind that causes you to lose touch with reality. It can produce bizarre behaviors and create you difficulty with social interaction. I know what I have, and I know what the medication is for. Well, you may not know what you think you do, I'm afraid. Well, I think that I should know more about myself than some character who pretends to be real. And you would know that the medicine wouldn't necessarily help you with your condition. That bottle says hallucinations may be a side effect of the medication, right? Yes, that's right. Then how would you explain the vividity of us before you now, with the medicine certainly out of your system by now? But it's like I said, it's just residual. Don't fool yourself, Sid. When was the first time you had interaction with any of us this week? Uh, I, it was uh, with Claude. And you haven't taken any since, right? Yes, that's right. When was the last time you had any hallucinations before that? Well, it's, uh, it's been a very long time. Because you were taking the medicine, right? So how would you explain that you weren't having hallucinations if hallucinations were side effects of the medicine? I don't know. It... Maybe it developed over time. I don't know, maybe the devil himself over there brought you. There are three symptoms to your illness. The first one is catatonia. That's not true. Don't kid yourself, Sid. Do you remember back in 34 when you were nearly buried alive? I hate to bring that back for you, but it did happen. Everyone, including the coroner and your own family, thought that you were dead. A slight twitch of your eye noticed by your uncle saved your life. You were catatonic. How would you know that? Come on, Sid. We became close pals for a few moments there. Don't forget that he's delusional. Actually, delusions is a second symptom. You have a difficult time dealing with certain... situations. You do have a tough time dealing, Sid. Well, what is the third symptom? Hallucinations, of course. But th that's not a uh, symptom of my illness. Th that's a, a, a side effect of the medication. You still don't get it, do you? Sid, the medication prescribed to you was to prevent the hallucinations that you have naturally. The side effects of hallucinations, as mentioned on that bottle, were meant to have a reverse effect. But how can that be? Mr. Collar, the medicated hallucinations made you hallucinate that we weren't here. You, you mean... I... No! Yes, Sid. We are here and we always will be. The medicine was making you hallucinate that we weren't here. The dreams you were having, well, those were exaggerations of real memories you've had with us, whether or not you want to remember or ignore those events from your reality. Looks like you're stuck with us, Sid. No, I am not. I'll kill myself first. I'll kill myself and there will be no more delusions. Yeah, then what will you say, huh? What will you say if I do that? Well, what will you say if I do that? Why, we would say... Welcome home. Welcome home. Sir. Welcome home. Welcome home. Sir. Welcome home. Welcome home. You had me going for a minute. Sir. Welcome home, Mr. Potter.
chicken and a roast for I'll, dinner tonight. I'll do the roast. Roast? All right. I thought you would say that, but I got the chicken <laughs> just in case. Oh, it's good to you. Isn't it? You see, Frank? Look at him. He does that all the time. Who does what all the time? Sid, our neighbor. I, I don't see anyone, Ann. Are you okay? I guess everyone is crazy except me. Did I get any telephone calls while I was away? 